guys. Um, oh wait, let me turn my TV down. Alright. <clears throat> so today I'm working on this bumblebee look. And it is for um, Tiffany. She wanted something with um, either gold or yellow and black. So this is what I came up with. Um, I did a cut crease and I kind of winged it up towards the um, eyebrow. And I also did a lower... Um, I guess wing um, going parallel to it leaving a little bit of open space anyways we're going to get started I already applied a primer I used my Mary Kay signature eye primer I'm going to take e.l.f. and sugar cookie this is a um, cream shadow I'm going to take the gold part I'm going to apply it to my entire well not my entire lid just this part of my lid and just right underneath the eyebrow. And I'm going to take um, my Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush in Gold School. And I'm just going to dab a little bit on right under here. And then we're going to just blend that out with our finger. Because they're going to go over it with white. It's just going to give whatever white we put up here an undertone of a little bit of gold. To get started, I'm going to take my Coastal Scents palette. And I'm going to take the bright yellow, which is right here. Apply just a little bit right here. So once we have that color on, the next step we're going to take is um, just a black... Um, eyeliner would work. We're going to start over here. Just draw the line above. Then once we get right here, we're going to find where our eyebrow stop and you want to make a line that goes up in that direction. It's okay if it's not perfect. It needs to come out a little bit more. So I'll look right here. And then Yeah, that's good. Alright, after you draw your little line. You're going to take a pencil brush, and I'm using my Sigma SS219, and I'm just going to blend this color out just a little bit. Um, after you do that, we're going to take a matte black. I'm going to take the one out of my Coastal Sense palette right here. Please excuse my nails. I know they're bad. Get a little bit on that pencil brush, tap that tap off all the excess you can because we don't want a lot of fallout because it's not that fun to clean up. Okay, so taking that black on here, we're going to dab it on like this, following the line. And take just a little bit more. And just trace it out. And connect up here, like this, and then we're just going to blend. Blend it out and upward. Alright, so after we have done that, we're going to take um, a blending brush and just kind of fade out the harsh line right there. Like this blending brush and just lightly go over the top part. Okay, so after we've done that, we are going to take the blending brush again and we're just going to grab this yellow right here, which is one above the first one we used, 
and just dab a little bit on here. Actually, tap off your excess and go right above the black line. So we're kind of like fading this black up into a light yellow and then we're going to fade that up into a white. Um, that's why we put the gold up here because when we put white we still want to be have like a hint of some type of yellow. So after that take the matte white right here, this one, sorry, top one, and get a little bit on your brush and just place that right under the brow. <clears throat> okay, so now after you've done that, you want to take that black liner again and we're just going to go under, we're not going to go on the water line. We're just going to go down on our lower lash line and just bring this black out and we're going to wing this part parallel to that one. And taking a um, angle brush, like my SS 266, take that matte black again and just trace over that black you just put on there. There, go ahead and line your um, flash line. Um, we could do fake lashes, but I'm not trying to put those on right now, but um, if you wanted to do fake lashes, um, some really thick ones like these would be good compared to some like these. I don't know. Can you see the difference? These ones are really full. You probably want to use some really full ones, but like I said, I'm not trying to do that today, but it would be um, a really good look, especially for Halloween. Um, overall, I think that really, like, completes the look. It's just something different, so I really hope you guys enjoy, and, um, Tiffany, I hope this really helps you, so, um, anyways, you guys have a great week, and hopefully I will get another tutorial done, um, sometime this week, so, uh, I will be back soon, guys. Bye!